Mm -mm. And one of the questions that we have is how long can people stay there? Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll get some answers for you. All right, so exactly what is styrene? How is it concerning? So Jessica Schmidt, she just spoke with a local expert who explained it all for us in detail. Jess. Yeah, and thank you to Ken Brown, reporter Ken Brown, for helping us out with this. So we talked with a professor of biological sciences and the director of neuroscience at NKU, and this is exactly how she described this chemical. Styrene is um, a chemical, it's, um, it's a solvent, and what it is, it's a single part. So we call that a monomer that is used in a number of industrial process to make many parts, polymers. Um, so um, styrofoam is one example. So just to go into some more details, some things we've mentioned already, it is described as a colorless, flammable liquid with a sweet odor. And as you heard her mention there a bit, it is typically used for making plastics, synthetic rubbers, and latex paints. According to the National Library of Medicine, it can be used during the manufacturing of auto, construction, and household products. So that includes things like pipes, lighting fixtures, flooring, and food containers. The National Academy of Sciences does list this chemical as a human carcinogen, which is something that can cause cancer. It is important to note that does depend on the levels. So at six o'clock, you're going to hear even more from this professor. She talked a little bit more about what needs to happen before this can be cleared, who could be more at risk of having some harmful side effects, and just goes into a lot more detail specifically about that chemical. So again, we'll have more information from her at six o'clock. Good to know. I think if you have any questions or if you have any concerns, any breathing issues or anything like that, um, you might wanna go ahead and get out of your, your house at least and have that address. You just don't want to get too, too better to be safe. Too far. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the weather. Steve, I know you've had a lot of